Hey everyone and welcome to a guide for Tunic. This time we'll be covering a few tips to get you started on your adventure with minimal spoilers, so let's get started. You'll find pages of the in-game manual throughout the world as you play. These usually have details relevant to where you are in the story when you find them, so make sure to give them a good read as you pick them up and refer back to them if you find yourself a little lost or stuck. There's a good chance you'll find an answer. If the game manual doesn't have a solution for a puzzle and you can't figure it out, then it may be something that you'll get access to later in the game, so don't worry. However, you can always look it up just to be sure. One of the first few pages you'll find will tell you how to run, which allows you to get around a lot quicker and uses less stamina than rolling everywhere. However, to save you some time we'll just tell you here. To run, you just need to hold the roll button after you've finished rolling. On Xbox, this is the A button. Running can also be useful for avoiding attacks from groups of enemies until you're ready to attack them. When you rest at a shrine, you'll get fully healed and your potions will be replenished. But all the enemies you've defeated will respawn, so sometimes it's best to push forward to try and find the next shrine, rather than healing at a previous shrine and having to fight through everything again. Be patient in combat. Pretty much every type of enemy in the game has a simple pattern of moves that they'll use, so when you're facing a new enemy, Keep your distance, block, dodge, or run around until you figure out what their moves are. It'll be a lot easier to deal with enemies once you know what their attacks are and when their defences are down. Dying is something you may find yourself doing quite often in Tunic, but don't worry, it's all part of learning the game. After dying, you'll respawn at the shrine you most recently rested at, rather than the closest, so if you're travelling around the map, Make sure to rest at shrines as you go, so if you die, you can avoid having to run a long way to get back to where you were. One of the things you'll find as you explore are fox effigies. They go into your bag, and their only function is to be smashed and give you coins, so you may as well smash them as soon as you get them. To do this, equip them to one of your ability buttons, and then press the button. Using your first one will give you 8 coins, then each one after that will double the amount of coins it gives you, up to a limit of 512 coins, so 8, 16, 32, and so on. The coins from an effigy can often be a useful boost that can help you afford an upgrade. That brings us to the next point, don't forget about your upgrades. You'll find items around the world that can increase your attack, defense, health, strength of your healing potions, stamina, and magic. You can find how many you have by checking your inventory, once you have one of these items, you can go to a shrine, open your inventory, and then pay some coins to unlock the upgrade. The cost of the upgrades varies between what you're upgrading, and will increase in cost as you redeem more of one. You'll find a few different types of bombs while exploring or in shops. These can be great for doing a chunk of damage to harder enemies, making some drop their shields, or clearing groups of smaller enemies. These bombs are generally single use, however, for every 10 of one type of bomb that you throw, you'll permanently gain plus one bomb of this type, which will replenish when you rest at a shrine. The 10 thrown excludes any permanent bombs, only the single use ones that you find or buy. So get throwing bombs and you'll find yourself with a few permanent ones in your inventory anytime you rest. Finally, there's plenty of secrets hidden around corners and just out of sight, so check the edges and corners of the areas you're going through, and you may find a chest or a little shortcut around the map. That's everything for this time, hopefully these tips will help you in the world of Tunic, and if you're looking for more videos then check out my channel. But until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.